much. We got two more songs to go. Thanks for being here, man. You're fucking great. We'll see you in fucking January, eh?
Thank you. We'll see you again, eh? Cheers. Thanks very much. You fucking wicked.
Okay, um, now these guys have um, self-produced the CD yourselves and they've basically sold everything they own to be able to produce it and we did a review earlier on and it's real cool, you've got to check it out. So basically, um, why did you guys choose to do it yourselves rather than wait for a major to pick you up or something like that? <laughs> oh, just because basically we didn't know how, about, how to go about getting a major or anything like that and we had we had the opportunity, had the songs, had to, we just had to do it. We spent a hell of a lot of money doing it, but we, we got what we wanted in the end and we thought if we'd go for a, a major or a, even a small um, independent company, we might not get exactly what we wanted. Like a lot of bands that we see nowadays are bringing out, uh, bringing out the cheap sort of covers, which is cool, but you know, we decided to go a bit more full on, <laughs> have the packaging and, yeah. and everything. So. And you ended up getting a better deal than what you sought? In the end, if I read somewhere that you scored an extra 500 CDs <laughs> yeah. or something. Yeah, well, they uh, they stuffed up the process uh, at manufacture, so <laughs> all the uh, all the CD trays actually fell out of the casing. <laughs> so uh, we had to send them all back, and uh, and they printed off another 500 for us, which is which no is names mentioned. No, no names, <laughs> just, just in case. But we all know who they are. <laughs> yeah. um, what would you say that the main sort of subject of your your lyrical content, what not is? Um, oh, it's basically from feelings and uh, emotion, just what, what, whatever's going on at the time sort of thing and whatever interests um, we have or what's I have in his head. Yeah, what's, <laughs> in, what's going on in my head, yeah. And um, have you, have you, like, is this like the first band that you've all been in before or have you been in other bands before? Or? In other bands, but we're not going to mention those. <laughs> Yeah. Free advertising. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. yeah, well, they're still going, but yeah, I'm not going to mention that. Yeah, in the past sort of stuff. I've been uh, basically in this band since it started when I was in about you fourth started. form. Yeah, I started it in fourth form or something like that. It's been through a, a few different people and stuff, so, but now we've got the right people. It's happening. And I've, what have you been in? Oh, I was in a couple of kick around bands. Landry Max. <laughs> yeah. And we all be. Landry <laughs> Max. I was living in his flat. <laughs> and um, I've noticed you've been getting a lot of publicity since you got the CD out. Did you actually have to work to get the publicity, or did it basically come once you'd released the CD? No, we had to work. Yeah. <laughs> do it all ourselves. Just just got to ring up people and say, do you want to do this on us? And that. All the bookings, all the managing, all the publicity, everything's been done by us. All yeah. Completely self-managed, yeah. produced everything. Yeah, we'd so. like, we'd, yeah, we'd like to try and change it um, eventually if we can, get a manager, uh, that sort of thing. And because at the moment we're like full on all all week, we're either booking uh, booking places, getting publicity or whatever, or playing. So it's really demanding on our time. We set everything up as well. Played um, earlier on on Thursday. Yeah. Yep. Else I played again because yeah, we informed them before that we actually. Informed film this on Thursday, but um, do you often do that and when you're touring? Or? <laughs> that was the first time actually. Is that right? Yeah, we, we um, asked the guys that played again uh, last time we were here, because we were like, here last Friday, and they said, oh yeah, sweet ass, cool, we'll organise something, and we just thought we'd try it out, because we hadn't done it before, and it worked really well, so we might have to do it again. <laughs> nice, places. nice control. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, we all got to put up. I well, actually had a comment about that before, too, actually, about the, the suits in Invercargill sort of having their wee say. Um, now, how long, how long did the actual whole album process take, like from the basically the point where you decided that you were going to put it out to finally being out on CD? Well, the drums well. took about a week from when we practiced the songs or wrote the songs. Uh, we wrote six of them uh, like about a week beforehand, then I went in and did two nights playing. And then after that, I don't know what, how long those guys took, were they mucking yeah. around? Because uh, Rob went to Aussie and, and he was just mucking around just when they had time. Yeah, did the guitars. Um, after we did the drums, took uh, took quite a while because we were still doing finishing touches to some of the songs and uh, to try and make them feel live. And, that. and uh, I wrote some of the lyrics while I was over in Australia, then came back and it took quite a while to get them down. It took, took ages. 
Fifth did, did what, the guitars and drums and bass and that took about two weeks to do and then it was about another three months on top of that to <laughs> finish off yeah. the rest of the songs. Yeah. yeah, just bit by bit we're chipping away at it sort of thing. So when we recorded it we just had the, had the music written but no lyrics. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, there's like half and half sort of songs are um, some of the older ones that were written already and like the other half weren't, weren't quite finished like you said with the, um, with the lyrics. And have you always, have you always played an original set or? Um, Since we've been together, yeah. Yeah, yeah. us we always do. Yeah, on tour we've always played originals, yeah. we haven't played one cover or anything. And There's one or two we wouldn't mind, but yeah. we're thinking about, but yeah. not too sure, so don't know, yeah, not too sure. How did the name Nadir come about? <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> um, ages and ages ago, yeah. <laughs> it was, uh, another guy in the band, uh, that used to be in the band, he sort of came up with it, took it out of the song. So he just thought, no, oh, that sounds pretty cool, let's use that. <laughs> Excellent. These people ask what it means. It means the um, the lowest point of anything. It's uh, opposite to zenith. Oh wow. And Rob's got a girlfriend called Nadina. Yeah. yeah. And everyone gets strictly no clue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, well thanks very much for yes, thank you. coming to the carnival twice and playing. I mean, it's got to be the first time a band's done it like with and with a week difference sort of in between the two dates. It's awesome. I seen you play outside, play, um, play it again. Um, I'd recommend anyone to check out the CD. It's worth it. And um, well, look forward to seeing you again around January, February. Cheers, man. Cool.